questions for AD2L. We will be using uh, the challenge uh, website. I rem- If everybody kind of remembers, I gave a quick shout out to uh, Dylan. Uh, in my last video mentioning this will be coming. Uh, so very, you know, they have to be in today. So this is a little bit late, but I, and I wanted to do this video yesterday, but hopefully we, uh, we can, uh, get it done in time, post the video, uh, predictions close at, I uh, just a little before 9 EST and uh, recording this video it's uh 515 EST so yeah um so we'll just get on with it uh let me just put display capture on do 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 there it is super exciting background drop uh for those that don't know how just go to announcements archon contender divine uh max posted this in announcements intermediate because of the BO3 results those so we don't have a bracket yet uh for it and yeah i just hit the league uh, make an account is super easy um yeah i just click the links boom i have these kind of open as well just to see how well the teams did i won't be doing too 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 much research on these um one thing you need to know is i always do a really bad job on it but another big shout out to dylan for uh, setting this up and I hope this video gets more people to doing it. I, I think this is fun. Uh, predictions are fun. I won't be doing monetary thing. So sorry. I'm pulling out of that prediction thing. Uh, I brought some hype there, but uh, pu pulling out. <laughs> of it at the moment uh just have some need to make sure i have money for uh buying a house and etc so any apologies there but yes i will be creating a prediction archon is pretty uh straightforward uh round one you have just eight teams the perfect number for a nice little bracket last three weeks uh so horny goatweed let me just put these guys beside each other. Really didn't do well. And Lemon Snow Cones is one of the 3-9 win teams. And I just don't think you're going to see a team uh, do that uh, well. You know, All Spice Squad won one them. So that's pretty good. There's a clear divide, though. Uh, I think the hardest match... Uh... I, I think this is pretty straightforward, these uh these first round. I think most people are gonna pick Lemon Snow Cones. Mary Todd Lincoln has seven wins. Uh to you know, Corona F four. Like there's a huge divide. Estrogen Express, then the maintenances. They're all very, very close. And this is kinda where uh, you have to kind of really look at these teams and see, okay, how well did they do? So, Estrogen and Mary Todd Lincoln actually won one, and Lemon Snow Cones won one, and they won one this team. So, they've won one to all four good teams. Lemon Snow Cones, uh, they 2 owed MTL, they won one and won one. Like, these are very close. This is why these teams have nine wins. And I believe this team also... 1-1, uh, 1-1, one, 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 one. So all these teams are insanely near each other. I think I'm going to take Lemon Snow Cones over MTL, though. MTL did lose a 2-0, and they've lost another game kind of there. To drop them to seven wins. This is the hard part because these guys have both won one. Um, hmm. Hmm. Can we get like their Dota buff up here? 
I know I said I want to go ham, but uh, this could be the difference maker. So estrogen express against lemon snow cones. This was 28 days ago, and they've had pretty good results. Uh, Swiss doesn't really work well for when you only have eight teams. You face every team but one anyways. Uh, I was just kind of curious if he... So, very close game. The both games went over 40. Archon games are notorious for going longer. This doesn't tell me too much. Well, actually, Dyer pulled out this W at the end. Lemon Snow Cones could have won twice. That's funny. Look at this. Your graph is so nice. And then just for a quick few seconds and you lose. Let's go back to game one. Did lemon, Was it the reverse? No, I think Lemon Snow Cones did really well against Estrogen. But we're also here for mint, Mittenens. How close these games were. Okay, Radiant Continuous Advantage. Okay, so they were winning at the start again, and then Estrogen took over uh, with their Medusa lineup. Though Terrorblade, huh. Yeah, they, their picks, they, they, they don't care about meta or nothing like that. They just kind of pick. Um, I think I'm going to pick the third seed. Um. Wait. And then we're gonna have lemon snow cones win an all prediction title. Make sure you put your name down. Okay. Make sure you put your name down in the uh, predictions. So there's only four right now. So I'm just gonna submit. Oh well. And that's it. That's how you do it. Um, I now know. I'm a little upset but about that, but it's whatever. People can email me anyways from my other emails, so it's not a the biggest deal. Uh, we'll be going now we're done archon and you know what? we can actually uh go to predictions so kind of straightforward a leaderboard still a uh, gambit as you know chad made one and then me so yeah everybody you know it's just gonna be a fun little fight looks like a lot of teams picked Mittens. I'm the only one with lemon snow cones, but you can see these are kind of the front runners, and every team seems to have the same top four, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, we will now go do contender league. Now contender league is a little different. Uh, they have 14 teams, so a fairly nice bracket still. Um, I really think it's going to come down to these two teams. Uh, this is a close series. So Extra Knives and Savage Sabres, uh, they did face each other, and Extra Knives did 2-0 them uh, earlier in the season. And then against the harder teams, they kind of they don't do too well. Savage Sabres, uh, they started doing better. They did face kind of weaker teams. They did run one, Routers of Rohan, which should be mentioned as well. I think this team is slightly better than where they should be. Uh, we're going to give it to Extra Knives, though. Just because they 2 would Savage Sabres before. Um, fairly confident Team Backwoods can win this. Spiked esports. 
has six team six members. They can be called out for that. And looks like they have done well against their five teams they have kind of faced. They haven't faced any team that's like insanely good besides it's my first time who got kicked out. Um they could be a little higher. Uh this is this is tough though. Uh Uh, who did PMB face? Where did they get their wins? They only played four games. One, one, red, five, standing by, two. They didn't face anybody like insanely good. And I don't think the results are that great. I think we're going to go Spiked Esports. The issue is Spiked Esports, they do have six members. You should change that because you can be rule book. But I'm still going to put them there. Um, I'm sorry, Red 5, but Petting Zoo, I think, has won their last seven games against uh, Red 5. So I think I'm going to just stick with Petting Zoo. Oh, uh, no. Pandemonium, FOTP, I, I wanna, I'm big, I'm in their guild, uh, I had to do this, I'm sorry. And we're just gonna take the higher seed here as well. I'm sorry, FOTP, I wanna, you had a really good showing last year, this year, uh, it's been rough for you guys. Your players are kinda going downhill there this season, I think, yeah, yeah need to, you know, come back stronger next, next season. So, Pot of Greed is going to make it. Team Backwoods as well. WSS. I honestly don't think any of these three teams are going to have the hardest problem. This is kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go against uh, the standings. I think I'm going to take AMHLC. Uh, I think they can beat Pandemonium. Uh, I, they're very 6 and 7. I believe... Did they never face? Well, that close in the standings and they never faced each other. That's interesting. So yeah, Pandemonium, their last three matches have been two O's. And these are, in my opinion, kind of weaker teams. 1-1 one, one with Spiked, 1-1 one, one with Backwoods, 1-1 one, one with Savage Sabres. So I guess they didn't get up there. AM, AMHLC, I... 1-1 one, one, their last three, uh, 2-0, 1-1, one, one, and got 2 by POG right away. So I'm going to say AMLC is actually, I think, maybe a lower, but I think they have potential to win. Now, Team Backwoods, I appreciate you guys, and if you win, you're going to send me a jersey. Do I do it? Do I do I do it yes. against Pot Agreed, the seed one that, uh, in my opinion, has done extremely well. Only one one with WSS Kobolds. They two owed team backwards. Man, they two owed you. Okay, we need to we need to go to this game here. And I need to I need to see if it was what type of what kind of game this was. Only one game was on the ticket, so it doesn't show too much. And this game looks fairly close up to the 23, 28 minute mark. Like this lead doesn't scare me that much. Yeah, this looks like a very, very close game. Yeah, you can even see both sides lost to racks. This is tough. I don't, you know, we're going to say team backwards. We're going to put WSS Kobolds here. 
because I don't think AMH will see our pandemonium were that strong. We are going to predict Kobolds. I said they'd be league winners at the start of the year. I'm sticking to it. We will type this Fireman. Save game. There we go. Contenders so far. Seven predictions, guys. Um, you know, we have WSS. Dale doing one. A lot of WSS. Um, I'd give them about a 25% chance to win. A lot of people have pot agreed as their second. PSGS, you know, that's cool. So make sure we get those in, guys. You know, let's go. We have one more to do today. And that is Divine. We'll do Intermediate alone. So Divine League had 11 teams at the end. So a lot of, not a lot of teams are playing round two. You actually, it's kind of funny. You have five waiting and six playing week one. Uh, if we take a quick look at Divine League, you can kind of see it was a very, 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 very close league. And there's a couple teams kind of in the lower uh, bottom teams that could do well. Now, I don't uh, know too much about Divine to make a great prediction. Besides uh, picking, you know, Possibly Timo's doing well. How do they do against the good teams? 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 0. Oh. It's Potato Navy like. Paradox Gaming. Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. Well, Unga Bunga did the worst, so we're going to take an easy one there with the No Dark Willow. Paradox Gaming, the Crimson Guard, not an item I buy often. Did they ever face against off? Crimson Guard got 2 owed, and then they kind of went against kind of the weaker team, Marco's Angels. Who are no longer with us either. Huh. Well, I think I'm going to go Paradox Gaming. Crimson Guard games don't look that good. 8 and 9 seed. This is always tough. It is a toss up here. I'm um, Saucin. And Smooth Steve and Yacht Club. Do they face, did they face off? So this team. Joined late. Maybe they had a bye week one. And then they came. Or they had a buy. Really crappy when you have three teams. They got O2 by Saucen. We're gonna go Saucen. We're gonna actually go Saucen. I know this team had less wins, but they did get two O'd by Saucen. Um, quite easily, Potato E, Potato Navy. Team O's is one of the teams I know. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go top four seats. Nothing nothing too crazy here. Uh, hmm. Potato Navy might be... I think they are probably the best team. Oops. Uh, you know, with nine wins. Do I think Team O's can beat them? No, we're just going to stick to the one seed. And I think Hell Bears is a pretty good team. So now we're just going to predict. I'm just going to predict seed one wins, everybody. Lame. I'm sorry. That's just what I'm doing. We're going to put Fireman here. We're going to submit. Five predictions so far. Um, 21 score potential. Lots of chances. Go make, go make predictions. That's all I can tell you really, guys, is... Um, 
to go make them. Go to dis. Go to Discord. Go to announcements. Uh, predict. Uh, compete against me. Compete against your fellow eighty to L players. Uh, locked. They're all locked at nine Eastern. So uh, make sure you go do that. And uh, thank you for watching the stream. Peace.